Why are ladies being targeted so much? And what's really happening? My warning is there's a group of people right now, as we are about to head to August, that have been released in the spiritual realm. These people are not just people, they are occultists. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And their main target is women. And I am coming with a warning to women to stop sleeping around, stop going on these dating apps, Tinder, Badoo, and just sleeping with any man. Not even just women, even men. Right now, we are in a season where a lot of sacrifices are going to take place, August. Hello, good people, and welcome once again to yet another amazing episode. And today, of course, we are going to discuss a lot of what has been happening on the internet. And I have a I have a spiritual guest here who is going to tell us. Of course, we have had so many deaths about ladies out here. And maybe we can get maybe the spiritual side of all these events. Hi. Hello. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. You will? Yes, I am doing good. It's mm -hmm. good to be back yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, Minister Njue Victor here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Also, even for your time. And maybe we can start by, of course, we've had uh, since the year started, we can say it's been a rough year, yes. especially for ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, mothers out here are stressed. Mm -hmm. uh, daughters are stressed out here. Your sisters, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And um, there's been a lot of deaths about the mm -hmm. ladies. We started with the Airbnbs, mm -hmm. the Mirema. Mm -hmm. And now recently, uh, bodies were found in Kwari, mm -hmm. in Mkuru Kwa Jenga. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of them, actually, all of them were ladies. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can Maybe we could try to understand why are ladies being targeted so much and what's really happening? Okay. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, I would like us to begin with a prayer. Mm -hmm. Always have to begin with a prayer. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this time that we've had. Jehovah, Lord, we're having. Jehovah, Lord, let your spirit fill this place, my Father, Lord. Less of me and more of you, Jehovah, Lord, as I speak to your people. Bless this platform in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Now, um, mine is basically a warning, mm -hmm. a warning to Kenyans, what's happening right now. Um, currently, as we speak, uh, it's July 2024. Mm -hmm. um, and you had mentioned the deaths that were happening before. Yeah. They stopped and they're happening again. Yeah. My warning is there's a group of people right now, as we are about to head to August, that have been released in the spiritual realm. These people are not just people, they are occultists. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And their main target is women. And I am coming with a warning to women to stop sleeping around, stop going on these dating apps, Tinder, Badoo, and just sleeping with any man. Not even just women, even men. Right now, we are in a season where a lot of sacrifices are going to take place. August. Why August? Before we go to the question, why women, why Kenya? Why August? August is the eighth month. As I said previously in our last conversation, the eighth month is infinity in the Egyptian uh, religion and Persian religion. As we said, it's the serpent spirit. Death and rebirth. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, these occultic people believe for there to be rebirth, there has to be death. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that is why the, a lot of sacrifices are taking place on the eighth month. If you look at the number eight, twist it around, it's the sign, the infinity sign. And it looks like a snake eating its own tail. Now, why, why, why this happens is also to rejuvenate their wealth and their altar and their influences. Most of these rich people and powerful people you see are not ordinary. They work under altars, either God's or the other side. You understand? Now, why ladies are being targeted? Let's go to that question. Mm -hmm. Why are ladies being targeted? Mm -hmm. Women private part currently for this season of rebirth, death and rebirth, women are the main target because of their private parts. Mm -hmm. Remember, women have the capability of bringing spiritual beings because we are spiritual beings into the physical as human beings. 
So they are targeting women so that they can use their private parts to strengthen their altars and their covenants with the gods and whatever demons they serve. Now the other question is, why Kenya? Yeah. As I mentioned previously before, Kenya is a nation that has been given the task to bring out a men and women of God. Kenya has that voice to influence the world. That is why when Kenyans spoke, the world reacted. All eyes were on the world. You understand? And the, the devil is aware of this. He knows the task Kenya has in the world. And that is why a lot of these attacks are being seen. But we are called out as children of God to break their altars. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So that is why I'm warning women, 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 it is not time for sneaky links. It is not time to sleep around, change partners. Men, it is not time to have more increase in your body count because even those people that you're sleeping with they are marine spirits mm -hmm. we have a succubus and incubus these are demons that come and attach themselves to human beings um, as spiritual wives and husbands and how these are attracted is how you sleep with people as well and these are also marine spirits mm -hmm. marine kingdom have uh, authority uh, under the laws of lust, fame, greed, mammon, in other words. Beelzebub, mammon, those, those two, and Asmodeus, who is in charge of lust. These are the, I've mentioned the three seven princes of hell. Uh, these are the altars that are being fed through this kingdom. Remember kingdom. So if there is a kingdom, who are the kings? I've just mentioned the three of them. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mammon, uh, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's in charge of uh, money. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Beelzebub is now in charge of greed. And uh, now we talk about Asmodeus last. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And also by, um, by sleeping with these people, this is for men specifically. Women have already said, mm -hmm. women need to protect themselves from sleeping with different men and going to any man's house. Because this is the time they are targeting people. Yeah. And sorry to say, but we must pray against it and we come against it. In Jesus' mighty name, you have no authority. We, we cover it and seal it with the blood of Jesus. That this, you know, these people, a lot of killings might happen. But we have rebuked it and it shall not come. And that is why I'm asking, petition the church, please, please, in Jesus' mighty name, it is not time to sleep. It is not time to sleep. 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 3 a.m. is the hours we need to stand up and pray. We need to pray. Do you know, let me tell you what happens between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is where the spiritual realm is the most active. Do you understand? 3 a.m., 12 a.m. to 2. And if you look at scripture, uh, the veil broke at what time? When Jesus died? 3. 3, yeah, it was 3. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And uh, three is the most darkest time of the night. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That is where spirits, riches, people astro project at night. And that's where men's destinies are stolen. You understand? Now imagine you've come from sleeping with someone who serves a demonic altar. And you don't pray during those hours. You know they come through astro projection to where you are cast spells, rebuke spells. If they can't kill you, they'll cast spells to the point where you become a slave of sin. That's why you find a woman has slept with someone, her wealth is gone. Mm -hmm. A man has slept with a woman, he's now in the streets confused. Mm -hmm. Another one, man has slept with a woman, he can't stop sleeping with women. He's just last sleep, sleeping. Mm -hmm. Women, they, 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 they have weird dreams at night. In fact, also I want to warn Kenyans, if you dream having sex at night, that is actually either a succubus or an incubus coming to steal your destiny. When you see that happen, wake up and pray and rebuke because they are trying to steal your destiny. It is not what science call uh, wet dreams. It's not. Mm -hmm. Those are spiritual attacks. Those are demons stealing your destiny. Mm -hmm. Live, live, live. Because for men, uh, life is in um, uh, the, you know, um, the excrement. Mm -hmm. Life is in that. Yeah. Uh, so when 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 you when that happens in the night, they are stealing your life, and that way they are able to manipulate your destiny. Mm -hmm. Yes.
and uh, would you say this is connected also to okay normally what we call out here soul ties oh soul ties very much mm -hmm. soul ties very much now what happens during union in the spiritual realm is you're connecting your spirit and that person's spirit now when you connect the spirit because the foundation of everything is in the spirit you're also connecting uh, your destinies and whatever that person is suffering from whatever spirits and affliction that person has also follows you and the ones that you have also follow them but we thank god because of the blood of jesus all you just need to do is ask jesus god i am tired i am tired break every soul tie that's why you find some people even if you want to leave someone that you once slept with you just find yourself missing reminiscing over that time that you had with them you can't break free but let me tell you the good news. Jesus Christ's blood can set you free. You do not have to become a slave of anybody. But God, even God himself tells us to serve him, not become slaves of him. You understand? Yeah, but the blood of Jesus will set us free. Yes, soul ties is related to um, all that as well. Yes. Wow, amazing, amazing. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maybe as we finalize, maybe what we, what's your parting shot and what's your message to even the men out here who are who are being used by uh, by by these spirits to come and you know attack the ladies out there and also what's your message also to these ladies? Um, first, let's ladies first. Um, ladies, um, I pray that you walk like Esther. You walk like Ruth. Um, you do not have to, you know, have worth by acting and looking like a body, as they say. Um, cover yourself with the blood. Live in, with integrity and honor. Respect self. Because life is not a joke. It is not all about the pleasure. Because after pleasure, there's consequence. Either in the physical through pregnancy or in the spiritual, which is of a higher cost that is your destiny. So please, women, avoid sleeping with men. I just pray the Lord to just give my generation um, direction. May the Lord reveal who your husband is. May the Lord direct you to your husband and to settle down. Because everything that you're doing will eventually reflect it doesn't have to be now. You, you might be saying, Sasa uyo anasema nini? What is he saying? What is he saying? But the truth is, the, the consequences will be evident. And I love you so much in the name of Jesus to not allow you guys to go through it because the fire is worse than the cooking pan. And now prevention is better than cure. So please avoid, avoid tinder hookups avoid these dating sites the way you do the way you normally do try to because it is about your life you are too young young lady to sell yourself out short like that you have a great purpose in christ jesus and jesus loves you yes all right thank you so much even for your time you. and there you have it ladies and gentlemen i hope you've learned something and also even to us ladies i hope we take care out there well that is all we had for you till tomorrow same time same place goodbye Bye -bye.